You will get punched in the face. Are you, you are you threatening? Okay. You're Not going. You. Go on. You're threatening about Not punching you. people in the face. Not you. You, you can would. leave. They said you could do it online. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Excuse me. None of you guys are female. What the hell? This Karen passenger screamed and even threatened to use violence against the airline staff, refusing to back down even when the police got involved. I want to blame. I want to blame. I blame. Leave me alone. What you gonna do? What you gonna do now? Because y'all with me. This is the third time I came to come here. I want to die. So I'm laying on time because y'all motherfuckers. And I ain't never threatened nobody here, yo. I fucked with y'all, yo. I fucked with y'all, yo. Like low key, I fucked y'all, yo. Give me my. Give me my. So I get the. I'll give you your stuff. Back give up. Back up. Yeah, no me. What happens when someone tests the patience of the police in a high security area like an airport? Stick around to see how this flight turns into a legal nightmare. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Work. The airline serve me. The airline serve me. The airline served me. This passenger was so caught up in flaunting his so-called power that he forgot he was nothing when the law spoke up. I'm talking loud on purpose. It's my voice. I'm handicapped. Y'all don't get it? Guys, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Like, this, I'm not a threat. I'm not a threat. I have nothing on me. I'm just trying to get there. In May 2024, a drunken passenger on a Frontier Airlines flight turned an ordinary incident into a dramatic standoff with police at Cleveland Airport. This man, Q character image, took what could have been a smooth flight and turned it into high drama by threatening a flight attendant, which led to his removal from the plane for disruptive behavior. When police arrived, they observed he appeared intoxicated and was arguing with airline staff. His actions escalated to issuing threats and hurling insults at the officers, once again proving the equation. Alcohol plus public spaces equals disaster. New York. You got that? Why are y'all playing me right now? Why are y'all playing me right now? Why can't I go to Las Vegas because right now? Because they deemed you too intoxicated. Word, 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 word. Say less, say less. All y'all say less. All right. How do I get to Las Vegas? Because I'm you stranded in Cleveland, Ohio from New York City. You, you, this enough. is illegal. This is illegal. No, it isn't. Come on if, now. If like, just take me to where I got to go. If you're impaired to cause a disturbance, less. they can refuse you your service. You will get punched in the face. Are you, you are you threatening? You can leave. No. You're leaving now. Jesus. Yo, why can't I get to where I'm trying to go? They're haters, refusing haters, you. Haters, 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 They're haters, refusing haters. you service. Suck you must suck my dick. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. The officers followed to ensure the man would leave the airport safely. However, the process took quite a bit of their time as they had to escort him while enduring his barrage of unpleasant remarks. You have to leave. I will. I will. This I will. Is last time back I have to go to Las Vegas. You have to reschedule and flight tomorrow. Stop talking to me. Frontier Airlines. Frontier Airlines. Frontier Airlines. Frontier Airlines. Frontier. Oh, word. You guys have no clue who the. I, I'm gonna take my glasses off so y'all can see in my face. No threats. Stop. Oh, it worked. So, a random dude like you, like, let's just, let's prevent him from his destination. Sometimes, you know, it work. I'm gonna sit down. Actually, I have to piss. Where's the bathroom? Right ahead. I hope y'all don't touch me. I hope y'all don't touch me. Yo, I'm not talking about. Especially you. You're like, come on now. Come on now. I'm, I'm just. You should have just told you. me they didn't. Hate I did her. tell you. Hate I did tell you. Okay, great. Like, like, I'm not the guy. Okay, uh, okay, no, he went to. They wouldn't let him go. They wouldn't let. They okay, refused him at the counter. We so let him get that which, far and they refused him. So we're asking. We're taking off on schedule. He's not flying tonight. No problem. Suck my, suck my. Come on, bro. Like, like, and it's not that serious, though. 
It's not that serious. I'm just trying to like. So y'all served me and kicked me out. I didn't serve you. Work. The airline served me. The airline served me. You could take that up with corporate with the airline. Okay, great. So I, I can't get to where I'm going because. No, no, respectfully, like, I didn't. I just speak there. No, no, no. Yo, 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 y'all chill. Yo. I wish it was better, though. I wish it was better. Haters. I'll leave. Don't follow me. It wasn't just about escorting him. Along the way, the officers even guided him on how to book another flight to his intended destination. The problem? No one at the Frontier Airlines counter wanted to help him because of his awful attitude. The airline staff refused further service, and the officers patiently and repeatedly tried to explain that his behavior would have consequences. Yet, in a plot twist straight out of a reality show, the man kept demanding assistance, refusing to grasp the simple truth that the world doesn't revolve around him. Spoiler alert, it's true. You go out front and reschedule with the airline, sir. What airline? You reschedule, but you gotta go out front. Frontier. What do you suggest? And then you'd have to find another airline Spirit. that flies. Word. Word. Okay. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. This way. This way, sir. Come on now. This way, sir. Where's the ticket counter? This way. Take me to Las Vegas. I'm going to Las Vegas. I'm going to Las Vegas right now. Hey, how you doing? Up the ramp here, sir. You sure? Yeah, right this way. Come on. Of course you sure. Nigga! He's out there. I'm gonna have your choice up here. You want me to Somebody. log in? Just find a bikini. No, 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 for real, not really, not really. No homo, pause, like, like. Alright, did you want down there? Damn, I need a picture, I, I love it. Peace out, later. Thank you. That's right. Yeah, we know we don't have another flight tonight. Yeah. No. 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 Are you serious? No. You was telling us the same thing. Now you can smell alcohol in him, but uh, so well, they said he started out fine. I said I'm sorry. He started talking to you. <laughs> Me too. Right? Yeah. Cool. Have a good night, ladies. Don't blame me. All right. Yeah, no, I can't have it. Okay. I thank can, you. We can purchase a ticket online. Perfect. All right. I'll have to leave. Thank so, thank you. Loud. I'm telling no. you, due to your behavior and your conduct, Frontier's not booking. If you calm, once you sober up and calm I'm down. Las Vegas right now. I'm going to get there tonight because the lab's the last flight out. So, y'all stranding me in Las Vegas? I'm not illegal. I'm not stranding you nowhere. Get a hotel, you can get a hotel room and come back here in the, mo in the morning and book a flight. <laughs> they said you could do it online. Kill yourself. Yourself. Kill yourself. For you to tell me that, I'm transit. I'm going to fucking Las Vegas, and y'all stopping me because of my voice. Because of my voice. This is my voice. I can't help it. I'm handicapped. No one know that. Okay, great. Y'all yo. Y'all yo. Instead of showing any sign of regret, he doubled down and played the victim card, claiming his naturally loud voice was a disability. He accused the airline and police of discriminating against him. What started as an inconvenience quickly spiraled into chaos. His shouting and offensive language escalated the situation, shifting from mere disturbance to actively obstructing officers trying to maintain order. Under Ohio law, trespassing and disorderly conduct are no small matters. Add public intoxication to the mix, and he was now neck deep in a storm of legal consequences. Seriously, like just take, I, I'm just trying to get to Las Vegas, right? Because of my voice? Because of my voice? Because of my voice? I'm too loud. I'm too loud. I'm an opera singer. I'm an opera singer. I sing opera. You guys know opera? Opera, opera, opera. You know New York? You know you? Yes. I, I just have a voice. That's it. They served me on the plane, bro. Like, for real. And it's just my voice. And y'all, y'all, y'all low key judging me, though. And I ain't never threatened nobody here, yo. I f with y'all, yo. I f with y'all, yo. Like, low key, I f with y'all, yo. Y'all got protocol. 
But um, I'm not even a threat. It's just my voice. I'm talking loud on purpose. Y'all don't get it? You They're just threatening to punch me in the face. So I'm stepping clean. Okay, great. So what the f am I doing? Go downstairs and get a taxi. Stuff my dick. Stuff my dick. Go downstairs. You're not helping me. What are you doing to me? You gave me every option. You're causing a disturbance. Not I didn't know that. You didn't inform me that. And you're sitting here you telling us to no suck your that. No one informed me you that. You threaten no. people. Jesus I'm Christ. done with you. Now you're not going to make it to Vegas at all this week. Cool, cool, cool. We gave you every I'll chance. Be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be. Where do you want me to go? Just sitting right here. Okay. Yeah, my, I have an idea on me. My unsub member of surgery. I did not mean to. I, I'm just I'm frustrated. I'm so sorry, guys. Jesus Christ. Where's your ID? Is that, uh, I don't know, it's somewhere. Uh, I'm so sorry, guys. It's too late for apologies if you're hoping to walk free now, my friend. The officers gave you plenty of chances to leave peacefully, but you squandered them, driven by your misplaced sense of entitlement. Excuses won't cut it at this point. Own up to your vulgar behavior and take responsibility. Like, this, I'm not a threat. I'm not a threat. I have nothing on me. I'm just trying to get there. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a member of service. It's just hard you guys want to call me? Like, I'm, I'm not a threat. I, you got him for a second. I'm, I'm, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. We don't need you to keep sitting there telling us. We don't need you to keep telling us to suck your dick after we're giving every option to leave. I don't. Bring your arm around. Put your stuff over there. Set what, it down. What do you want me to do? Set your just stuff just down. Me, Set your me. stuff down. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. How, much how would I know this? That's my ID. That's my money. You threatened to actually. No, first I didn't you threatened threaten you. you threatened to punch her in the face. No Then way. you told her to suck your. I said you then would. You told her not I to said suck you. Your I'm not helping me. You guys are supposed to help me. I'm so sorry. I'm I, so. I, 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 I didn't know that I was going to help you. you, you, you I told we you tried. What, I told you what your options were. You told me to suck your. You told me to go to Frontier. I told you to sober up. I told you to sober up and come back in the morning. You didn't want to hear that. So now we're done. So I'm so sorry. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Oh, gosh. All right, whatever. All right, okay, whatever y'all want to do. My bad, yo. I have no weapons. Yes, we know that. I, I have no My answer member of service. I'm so sorry. I did not. I'm a New Yorker. <laughs> so do you act like this in New York, and the cops in New York put up with you like this? I don't inter inter interact with cops in New York. Yeah, you had it. They, they refused. Mean, they refused service. I'm a little deaf. So you interacted with cops here I'm in Cleveland. I'm and blind and, and deaf. Because I wear corrective lenses. Okay. I, 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 and, uh, my, my... I understand that. The alcohol on you. They served me. Why would they serve me? My bad. I did, I did not threaten anyone. I would never threaten any of you guys. Y'all... You can't get him go around and tell people to suck your dick. Of course I can. It's my voice. This okay. is my voice. Okay, but that's just only time. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I mean, if no one helps you and you're asking for help, and they're like, you know, I'm not threatening. I'm not. I would never threaten a member of the law enforcement. My aunt's a member of service. Oh god. We asked you to leave. My you bad. Leave. I, I left. You want to get? You want to get in trespassing too? Because we kept telling you to leave, and you wouldn't leave. I'm not. I'm totally not. I'm just. I'm yeah. totally not trying to do like the thing. I did just out My bad, guys. Like, like low key. Do I have okay. mine? I don't I, think I, I, I have one. Lord, hopefully, it brings. Come on. You, you act like I didn't show y'all respect. I never showed y'all respect. No. You can say suck your dick. You can say it. That's not respect. Oh, God. Y'all didn't help me. You not. You didn't we were help helping you. Were so Frontier? And, and, and yes, and they refused to serve you. No, you work for Frontier then. No, I don't work for Frontier. So why would you tell me to go to Frontier? That's why but you were I acting up. That. That's why I said, I you, felt like you worked there. Okay. I felt like you worked there. Oh, That's okay. why I thought. Oh, okay. Yeah. Violators. I'm just trying to get to where I'm going. I'm not posing a threat. I swear. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. You guys, like, uh... It's just Have a seat. Have a seat. Right, wait, 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 wait. My bad. My bad. My bad. He was charged with disorderly conduct and trespassing. With these charges, he spent a few days in jail. Perhaps just enough time for him to sober up and reflect on his life choices. But let's be honest. How many of us really believe that someone like this will genuinely learn from their mistakes? He's probably thinking, great, I've served my time. Now I can get back to living my loud, demanding life. In any case, this is the ending he earned. If he had simply cooperated, apologized, and kept his cool, he could have avoided jail time and saved himself a lot of legal trouble. It's almost like behaving decently could have solved everything, right? This story isn't just about a passenger having a bad day. It's a wake-up call for all of us. Losing control in public, especially while intoxicated, is never a smart choice. Disruptive behavior isn't just frowned upon, it's a crime. If you ever find yourself angry or frustrated at an airport or anywhere else, 
Remember that a little self-control can save you from unnecessary legal trouble, especially avoiding a free tour of the local jail, a trip no one wants to add to their travel itinerary. So next time you face delays, sit back, relax, and take a deep breath. Don't turn a bad day into a criminal record. Because if you do, the law won't be as forgiving as the flight attendants. It's not just passengers. Sometimes, even those working at the airport forget that the rules apply to them too. And when they challenge these regulations, the outcome isn't always an exciting event, but rather an expensive lesson. I know I lost my job already because where's my shit? Where's my bag? All y'all ugly mother you the one start this. This incident occurred on April 23, 2023, when an ordinary workday was completely upended by this airport employee. She seemed to forget one simple truth. Rules are meant to be followed, whether you work in the industry or not. The situation escalated as she repeated the same violation for the third time that day, despite prior warnings, and things took a more complicated turn when airport police were called to the scene. She came through the you don't understand what? Give your BNA badge? Why would you do that? Because I, I, I can. Freedom of speech. You have your BNA badge with you? Yes. Where is it at? Well, you need to have it on your. I need to see it. Ma'am, I need to see your BNA badge. Right here, Well, then get it out. Right here. Get it out. Let me have it. Let me have it. I ain't got nothing to get to work and you slap me. This woman's behavior grew increasingly aggressive, even showing clear irritation at the presence of the police officers. Despite receiving reasonable warnings from the officers, she appeared to dismiss them as mere words, paying no real attention. As an airport employee, she should have been more familiar than anyone with security protocols. Yet, she chose to challenge the police instead of cooperating. Her actions could easily be seen as unreasonable defiance, especially when dealing with law enforcement in a high-security environment like an airport. Where will this dramatic performance lead? Let's find out. What? Okay, yo, this is regarding the boy. I get another unit down here. How do you want to get him? All I do is get ready to work and tell you that. Good. Thanks, bro. What you going to do? Get your ass out of here. Get your ass Is all this stuff hers or what? It's my stuff. Why you got so many keys? Why you got so many cars? Because I want to buy them. I want to buy them. I bought them. What you going to do? What you going to do now? Why are you being like this? They gotta, they gotta talk to everybody. To provide her BNA badge and calling the TSA. You're lying. Hey, my cousin is a detective. I will get him on y'all. I'll clear him up. Why are you you're acting this way? And that's what you were gonna do before. Okay. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna need your BNA badge, okay? Because I'm I need to see it. Need to have it in my. It's right here. Thank I need you. to have it. Why are you doing this? All right. So they basically need to check this stuff. She's calling them an N-word and not providing it. her being a badge, cussing me, not giving me her ID. I know how to check her. Yeah. So. She declared her intent to stand up for her rights and refused to cooperate with the police, even after being warned about the potential charges and consequences she might face. Although this individual was merely an airport employee violating regulations, her defiance and interference with law enforcement escalated the situation to a more serious level. Such behavior could endanger those around her and set a concerning precedent for future acts of non-compliance. Under 18 U.S. Code Section 2231, obstructing or disrupting operations in a secure area can result in up to one year of imprisonment or fines, especially if the actions pose a threat to public safety.
It's the airport's property, okay? Give it so we can conduct our investigation. So what? I ain't done nothing. I don't care what's walk through here. I ain't done nothing, man. It hurts whenever they come through here. It says okay, that when you do... Okay, I ain't been going through this. All of a sudden, I've been through it three times. You're subject to that. And it says it in your test when you take your DNA test. Put it on the news camera or whatever. Yeah. Ask yourself that at the end of the day. Because that's going to be the end result. You're going to lose your job over this, okay? Nobody's nobody's doing anything to you any different than anybody else. There'll be another employee that'll come in right behind you and they're gonna be subject to the same search. Before you keep talking, ask yourself, is this worth losing your job? No. Okay, hand me the badge, please. No. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Why? Because that's not your property, so whenever you're asked to give that badge up, you have to give that badge up. Property of B M and A. I haven't done that. I'm stand for my right. I haven't done that. You can do that, but you're going to lose your job, and we're still going to take your badge. So, is it worth it being tough like this? Is it worth it? I haven't done it. You came through this door, so we can ask you for your badge and your stuff. I showed that. Okay, so now give me your badge. You can't have your password like you have right there on a piece of paper, because that's a breach. If you lose that, anybody can get through this door. So now give me your badge, please. All right. Do you see that piece of paper you have in there? That has your pin code on it. And then come straight through this door. No, that's not. It's in. The, it's literally on the back of the breach of rules. You can't have that. All right. All I did was going to the to the to the place. All right. Well, you're. All right. So I'm gonna take your badge because you're not complying with airport rules and regulations. Okay. That's technically theft. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to do that. All right. We got called to you because you're cussing them and not following by the rules. Right now, anyways, so we can take you for disorderly. That's not even like up for negotiation. Cool, and the hand is your bag. That's all, that's all we're doing. That's all we're asking for. Because you have your pin code on. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Yeah? What, tell me, what you mean, I know you understand this. I hear you. The goal is here. What are you looking to have happen? Well, I appreciate that. Okay. Well, as you know, for everybody's safety in the airport, you got to have that bag. Right. So you need that badge to work. What happens is they have to do a little paperwork. Dumb assholes. Dumb right. assholes. Like but they, they got to do paperwork. Well, Listen what? to me. I ain't done okay. nothing. I ain't done nothing. Let me know when you done talk. Let me know when you done talk. I ain't done nothing. You done talk? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Oh. I need you to listen. So, in order for you to work, paperwork. You know, jobs always got paperwork. But he needs your badge so he can fill out this paperwork. Put the that gets done. We're going to enable eventually to get you back to work. Well, you're about to lose some more. It don't matter, mother. It don't matter, mother. What? Now, my question is who in the world hired this crazy woman for this job? Maybe the police should investigate the person responsible for recruiting her as well. It's truly concerning to see someone so reckless working in such a critical and secure environment like an airport. This woman acted like a rookie gangster, aggressively questioning the officers with asterisk. What did I do to get arrested? Asterisk well, every action and word you've thrown out could easily answer that question for you. The outcome of loudly confronting the police has escalated beyond just an argument. She not only violated airport regulations but now faces potential charges of obstruction of justice, a serious crime at both state and federal levels. In this case, her defiance led to her arrest for disorderly conduct and obstructing law enforcement. Under U.S. federal law, specifically 18 U.S. Code Section 111, obstructing law enforcement officers can result in up to three years of imprisonment. In certain cases, the penalties can be even harsher, especially when such actions occur in high-security environments like airports, where safety is paramount. Who's the boss? I'm right here. My name's right there. So, she, you were both here? Yeah. I'm trying to keep any for the TSA. One, six, seven, put that in there. Four. I know I lost my job already. Where's my s? Where's my bag? That's a supervisor from. I already lost it. Where's my bag? I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing nothing. I already pulled that out. No.
ain't believe y'all, y'all. You got your Some of them. All right, man, your last chance. Are you going to go to jail? Give me your For what? Being disorderly. So he can do the paperwork and he be on your way. Y'all ain't got no money, man. Okay? There you go. Okay. Give me my Give me my so I get the I'll give you your stuff. Give me my Back up. Yeah, ain't no business touching me with my fist. Give me my stuff. That was a smart move. Give me my stuff, bro. Yeah, I'm just sitting there sitting there. Do not resist. Do not resist. Do not resist. Give me my stuff. 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 Because he gave us a badge, we could have done the paperwork, that would have been the end of it. It's your area. You can't have it. Because you got one, two, three, four. Help. Help. You got five officers being tied up with this. Okay. You got GSA trying to keep you secure. So I just do it that way. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Do you have any things in your pockets? No. Why are you doing okay. this? Can I do it? Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Right. So, okay. Give me my stuff. Y'all some business on me. Really? Oh, I'm saying you don't need a brief. Oh, there's someone's stuff. Let me get in here. What you gonna do? Me? This crap is that. Get your hands off me. Hey, can you get that stuff out of the back? Yeah. No, right here, right here. That's an ignorant mother. I ain't done nothing to hurt anybody trying to get to work. You see a bad child? These motherfuckers. You did this. Oh, you have no out. Can you have a BNA 7? It's for the suspect. Hurry up. Get your hands on me, you fucking Hey, stay in your mother. Y'all always doing something. Real quick. So since we work at the airport, we have a different set of rules. I, I don't work there no more after this. I, I, I'm happy about that. I'm not actually. I don't want to take anybody's job from. No. It's not very nice. Okay. Even after being taken to jail, our protagonist here still seemed to question the fairness of the officer's decision to arrest her. I lost all the mirror. I was just walking through there and they were stopping me. I'm I'd, I'd stop you. I'm He's just, a Tell him I call him a I can't say that word. Say it. Like are you having? Are you having alcohol problems? Is that what it is? No, no, no. no. You know what alcoholism is? Mm -hmm. You know there's consequences. I don't do no drugs. I don't. I mean, it's okay. Don't get me wrong. It's okay when you have consequences for drinking. Yeah. I mean, I I enjoy a drink too. You know, as much as I do, when you drink, you kind of act stupid sometimes. You know. As mentioned earlier. This woman successfully racked up a few charges, including disorderly conduct and obstruction of justice. In the U.S., disorderly conduct is generally considered a minor offense, with fines ranging from $250 to $1,000 and up to six months in jail. However, in high-security areas like airports, the penalty can increase to up to one year in prison. Obstruction of justice is more serious, with fines ranging from $500 to $5,000 and jail time from three months to one year. If the actions result in danger, the offense can escalate to a felony with a prison sentence of up to five years. An ID card can help keep things calm, but instead, she chose the hard, risky path, and of course, no one wants to pay the price for that. Remember, in today's society, any failure to follow rules can lead to unforeseen consequences. So, next time someone asks you to present your ID, never forget that cooperating isn't giving in. It's a smart strategy to protect yourself from situations like the one in this story. This story also serves as an important reminder to respect security rules and the authority of law enforcement. Let's continue the video with a special case involving a woman named Lynn, who claims to be the wife of a firefighter. She found herself in trouble after going to the police station to cause a disturbance. You know what?
and the husband, 14, uh, 17 years on the fire department. Do you want to say? Do you want to say? On April 16th, 2024, the situation unfolded dramatically when a woman, the wife of a firefighter, drove to the police station while intoxicated. Her goal was to meet with a specific female officer she knew through personal connections. She wanted a female officer to handle her issue, but upon arrival, only male officers were present. Her frustration and confusion quickly turned into agitation as she demanded to see the familiar face she had requested. Her escalating behavior and the unexpected confrontation with the officers set the stage for a tense. And here is the video recording of the incident. An act for female officer, Tracy, or the, what, what? The she's sergeant officer uh, Tracy. She's got two kids and stuff like that. I also called her yesterday to ask once again. You guys. Why do you need a female? I'm trying. To, I, really? I'm trying I to figure call. Be here by six, and you'll have a female officer. Well, the call, because you guys. We don't, don't determine do what. I wasn't a nine one one call. And that's why I'm here. I'm the available officer, so I'm here taking it. If you don't want that, I can't. I don't know what to tell you. But I asked them if I could have female. And the female and officer is tied up. If you're by six, you will. Oh, let me get my phone number. Sergeant Flores? Yeah, she's right there. She knows I'm out here talking to you. Because we don't have a female officer available. If we did, there'd be one here. But unfortunately, there's not. No, I was here. I was here by six. Don't know what to no, tell No, they said two. They said the officer, uh, Tracy, she couldn't be here at that time because she had busy. And then they said they would have another one for me. I, we don't have a Tracy Schultz. I'm sorry. Oh my God. We don't you have really a don't? Tracy Schultz? We don't have the, a Tracy the sergeant, Schultz. The lieutenant? Tammy the Schultz? Was, she was the one who was there. And I said no because she, I know her personally on Facebook involved with Can you my show me? personal situation. Okay, so you don't want the sergeant that's on duty. You said you don't want her, but once I get saying you do, once because I get saying you don't. Because she is a personal friend on okay, Facebook so to be involved in my personal problems. Okay, so you don't want her. You want her out here? I can get her. Great. Okay. The woman was highly disruptive, demanding to know why a supervisor wasn't handling her report. Her frustration with the officers boiled over as she accused them of being uncooperative and threatened to take legal action. Her escalating behavior made the situation increasingly tense and dramatic, showcasing her unwillingness to back down despite the officers' attempts to address her concerns. So what do you want? So she's not going to take the report. I'm still taking the report because I'm an officer. She won't take me. She won't take you because it's my job, not a, it's not a supervisor's job to take a patrol officer's report. She said she wasn't going to be there, and then I asked the other one. Who? Do I have How could you? Answer? Let's go in here, in the car. Okay, please. And then I'm going to get her, correct? Okay. I told you. After you, you take the report, she's not going to be here. She'll approve it. I'm not. Is she here today? Yes, she's scheduled to work. Exactly. I'll wait for her. Well, she's a supervisor. She's still not going to take your report. Do you read the Bartle Examiner? Yeah, sure, why not? Why wouldn't you? Whoa, you're something else. All right, so you don't want me to take your report. My report. Because supervisors don't take reports. Really? Correct. Then let's take you. Okay, come on in. Fine. Okay, we're going to be in room one. Oh, you, you betcha. You betcha. Don't, no, don't worry about it. Well, you know why? And the husband, 14, uh, 17 years. Yeah, mm -hmm. you guys, you know you each other. You're brothers. I okay? just got here a year ago. I don't, don't care who. because you know what? doesn't matter. You don't, care who you, you don't care who your husband is? Then don't ask. Well, I need to know for the report, don't I? Why? Aren't you here for a report? Or are you right. just here to yell at me? What? What, what, why? What, what did you say that you're going to take a report about what? Did I tell you what I'm going to take a report? I'm trying to figure out why you'd walk into the police department if you weren't here to make a report. You said your husband, so I'm presuming that. On the 17 year on the fire department with Skomeshki and all, and you guys are like brothers. So don't tell me that you're going to sit here. Oh, yeah, she's a. F Oh, she's this, she's that. So, what's the report about? All right, you're 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 gonna just take yours and we'll take mine, okay? All right. Are you okay, ma'am? You seem a little 
agitated. Today? No, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Maybe with the last three months and like that. Yeah. You know, you two sick and bucket and your your brothers. Oh yeah. Fire department. Oh yeah. I grew up in Logan, Logan Square. Oh God. You in last two days. So who's your husband? None of your business. The officers quickly noticed that the woman was heavily intoxicated. They attempted to understand what had prompted her to come to the station, but were met with her combative and entitled attitude. Despite their efforts to gather information, she stubbornly refused to cooperate or provide any details, creating a challenging and tense situation for the responding officers. I'll call Tracy, Tammy. Oh, okay. you know what he did? He f disconnected it. Who disconnected it? My husband. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, wait. Not am about... I an alcoholic? Am I this? Mm. What? What am I? Well, because you seem a little disoriented, so I'm going to ask you some questions. Disorientated? Yes. My house is foreclosed on. He's somebody. I have no home. I have no family. And this f runs around. You've been here a year? Wait. So how would I wait. Know Wait, you f never last year because these guys are sh Go to Chicago and learn something. I'm going to ask you some orientation questions again. Uh -huh. Okay. What day of the week is it? No. Can you not answer yeah. them or you don't want to answer them? What do you want me? I want to ask you the question, what day of the week is it? Today is actually April 16th. It's approximately 6 p.m. What what date do you need? Who's the president of the United States? Oh, it, it actually is a Biden. Mm -hmm. Who else? Okay. Have you been drinking today? Absolutely. Okay. Are you drunk right now? No. You know what I am? You know what? I call attorneys. I call everything. Mm -hmm. You know what? This mother told me in his name. He said, if I take your my car, I will get you arrested. He's going through some coo 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 going through some kind of slurs, whores, whatever. That's what he's going through. Because now ugly on this. Do you want to say? Do you want to say? Schultz, give me, uh, one. give me one minute, all right? I'll be right back. Give me two seconds. Get the fuck out of here. Give me God. It's okay. Let's see more, honey. Throughout the encounter, the woman displayed significant disorientation and hostility towards the officers. She not only issued threats, but also insisted that her situation warranted psychiatric evaluation rather than police intervention. Her aggressive behavior and refusal to cooperate with the officers complicated the situation, highlighting a need for careful management in both legal and mental health contexts. Yeah, you piece of shit. Let's see more. Yeah, Would you do that to your wife? I don't have a wife. I wouldn't put my hands on anybody. Got it, honey. Come on, Tom. Come on. Come on, baby. Turn her off. They suck. Silly man. Yeah. You, you know, know what he said? Hey, Tom, you want to come over here? Don't you touch him. He hates you. Here, talk to the medic. Talk Hi. to the medic, Slim. The medic's going check you out. Let me just. I want a dog. Okay. You can, can talk, talk to her. Can we talk with you in here? Come on, none from you. You know what? Here's really what I am. I'm a f alcoholic. I'm a f opiate thing. I f up. I can't allow to be what? Yeah. I can't yeah. walk? Yeah, you can't walk. To get him. To get who? Because he is me. I want to be evaluated. I want to get better. So nobody will take me. I am not going to. How am I going to pay for this? Well, you said that you want to get help, right? Right. Who's going to pay for it? Don't you tell me to stop.
Aster, if he's oriented, yeah. the, the whole dance. And so if he's able to stand for and doesn't want to go, we'll stand for okay. I would call. Yeah. 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 So. Even when faced with medical personnel, the woman's behavior continued to spiral out of control. I hope that one day your karma's gonna come back to you. My karma's good. I don't know anything about Ron. I haven't you seen him in 10 you years. You said, you just said to me. And you I said, oh, I was on years. there. You know a fucking delirious, you know a psychopathic liar. That's all you know. You guys taking it from here? Yeah. Okay, then we have to get you home. Oh no, I walk. Okay. You think I'm gonna? F well, yeah, that car's in my name, and I'm gonna f get you arrested. I have no idea what you're talking about, Lynn. We Bullshit! Bullshit! I That's what he said. And if you dare drive it, I'm a. F okay, Lynn, I'm trying to help you with spouse. You're not today. trying me, Dad. You are a piece of. Sh but we need to get you home. I'll walk! You, you think you're gonna f***ing take me home? You're a piece of shit! I never, I grew up in Logan Square! They would have killed you! You mother in Inglewood! Logan Square! You may live shit! What? Whoa. Okay, Lynn, let's go, yeah. let's go. Yeah, okay. you, Tango. Tango. You do not, you do not, not, do you not come to me. Not come on, let's okay, go. Let's go. Walk out. Driving? I, you let's think go. I'm gonna sit there in the car and you're gonna pinch me? You let's shit. Go, let's go, All right, Lynn. So here, would you like a copy of the Illinois Domestic Violence? You know what you do? Let's go. You're under arrest. I did. I spit on the officer's hand when you spit on that sheet. I spit on the paper. Missed and he hit my hand. Oh my god. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I want to okay. be good. You, you touch my dog. Lucky yeah, we'll yeah, let's move her inside. You're lucky you're inside. Do you have anything on you that's gonna poke us? Oh I wish I did. I wish Ooh. I did. Something when Stop you have it's happened to my dog, I'll okay. Oh God! Here, here, baby! Here, baby! Yeah. What's gonna what do to my Hold dog? Yeah. You better know. You wanna take my dog? Yeah. Where's my dog? Right here. Come down. Right here. Are you the one? What are you talking about? Yeah, Sergeant. Tammy Schultz. Tracy. Yeah. Tammy Schultz. Thanks. Face for red, take it on a jump. Like, I just got here. I don't know anything about anything. Right. Well, why don't you sit down a minute? I will. I'm talking to you right now. But calm down. Don't be holding. Yeah, you helped him. Oh, with his nose and everything? Yes, sir. I have more to Yeah, I got you. Give me my dog. Upon her arrest, she persistently made disjointed remarks, threatened legal action and voiced urgent concerns for her dog's safety. Despite the officer's attempts to manage the situation, her erratic behavior highlighted the challenges of addressing her case, especially given her impaired state and the potential impact on her legal rights and responsibilities. Get my dog! Come on, Shall we? Get the f you want your right. dog? Okay, hey. if I break my leg, pick my leg. Where's my dog? I'm gonna get your dog, but I'm talking to you now, okay? I can't get these f out of here. Okay, okay. Just calm down. Get my dog. I will. But get my phone. Down. Show me. Are you getting high off this? Extended. Are you? Learn. Okay, Again. Lynn, Lynn, stop. We're not going to do that. Okay. Just stop. Let me go! Okay. Stop trying to fight. Do you need to do anything? So I have the initial domestic. Uh huh. So the only thing is I can't call review because. Yeah. Get my dog! She drove Just here. Just yes. Her car is half as parked out there. And okay. So if it could be so that she drove here. Yeah. I had Ash looking for the video anyway. Yeah. To see if we could have her pulled it.
the video for pulling in. I will work on that right now. Yeah. He's euthanizing my dog! Hey, Lynn, Lynn, relax your hand. Just flex your hand. No! But you know he's a liar! And then he said I had a DUI? You know he's lying! Cop has to pull me over and arrest me on sight if I had a DUI! You guys can't even stop me! Sit down, please. You! Sit down. Where was the report? I'm sure it's still getting typed. Really? Why isn't he in a 10 day hold the dog? Hey, I Lynn. spit on a piece of paper! Hey Lynn, I'm hearing what you're saying. Oh, then okay. how did a dog 13 pounds by an officer? How? Tammy took the dog out! The dog wasn't even near him! Have a conscience! The dog didn't do nothing! I did! And now they're gonna euthanize them? I didn't say that they're gonna No, I said they're doing a 10 day hold. That's for their policy when a dog bites somebody. Show me! Okay, sure. other officers can handle that right now because I gotta handle you. Why? Because I gotta Because you're an animal hater? God almighty, right. St. Fan Francis of Assisi is gonna f bury you. Wait. And you. Are you threatening me? St. Francis of Assisi. Death is going to bury you? Who? Is that a threat? That's like saying God is going to harm you. Are you threatening me? Is that what I'm asking? That's what I'm asking you. No. All right. I'm going to read your Miranda rights, all right? Finally. Finally, right? We're finally, finally. at this point. All right. Anything Thanks you say can any be. of these cameras, audios disappear? You yeah, never right, read me my Romanda rights. Anything you say can and will be used against yeah, you in a Yeah, yeah, yada, yada, yada. Go. So Take me to a psych ward. While you are being questioned. You cannot afford to hire a lawyer. One will be appointed. Why don't you live up on him? Do you understand those? Beat me. Do you understand these? Do you beat your wife? Do you understand these wives? You, you beat your wife? Oh, you're not married either. Because you're sick. Do you understand your rights? I don't know. Do you want me to read them again? I'm crazy. Do you want to read them yourself? Do you want me to read them again? I'm, I'm, I'm not capable right now to understand. In response to the woman's demands, the officers read her Miranda rights. Despite this formal procedure, she continued to exhibit a defiant attitude and repeatedly requested to see a psychiatrist, maintaining her confrontational stance throughout the interaction. Take me to a psych ward. You can't? You want to jail. Uh, Most no, likely. I'm out of my mind. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before questioning. I am an attorney. If you wish. You were saying that we didn't read your rights, so now we're reading them? You didn't give me my Miranda rights earlier. Because we weren't asking you incriminating questions. I'm going to do, the, I'm do fifth, fifth Amendment. I'm sorry? Fifth Amendment, right? Which is what? <laughs> I don't understand. Okay. Are you invoking your Fifth Amendment right? Would you like to talk to me about what happened uh, today? I need to talk to a psychiatrist. I, okay. I, uh, regarding the actual, what happened, the events that happened today, is that something you want to talk to me about? Yeah, you do. You don't want to help people. So, I'm just asking you. I need medics here now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're coming. Let them do the evaluation. I'm you're, you're not a f***ing psychiatrist. Never said I was. Yep. That's fine. That's all. And I'm just asking I'm you done. one last time. Are you, would you like to talk to me about the events that happened? I'll talk to her to the psychiatrist. Okay. That's, that's totally fine. Don't get married. I've heard that quite a lot. Oh, there's the there's a queen bee. Oh, so my dog's going to be euthanized. Did he? Did he not say? Wait, wait, wait. He did bite somebody. When you had him in your possession... You yeah, he was getting him out of the kennel and he bit he was traumatized! If I want to charge her with threatening a public what official, then I would have to call a felony review again. And I just want to be What's up? Okay, so then when they call me back, then so you have additional charge. Well, okay, for sure. Sweet. She was subsequently transported to the police vehicle and taken to the hospital for a medical evaluation. Following her assessment, 
She was then transferred to jail to face legal proceedings. God damn, I hate you. Sorry. What do you want? I want you to walk around so you can take a seat. Oh, thank God it's Carmacy's not here. Come on, swing your feet up. You guys want one cuff on the, uh, yeah. yeah? Sweet. Take this one off really quick. Serge, can you toss me those cups? Yeah. Uh, take this one off? Yeah. And then no, handles good. Wow, this is something else. Wow. Man, you guys treat me worse than one cops. I'm sorry. For it's not me. Don't let me have enough for my dog. Do you hear me? Nope, your dog is fine. I'll make sure. And my kid is sick and my parent. Ooh, we're gonna have a good day tomorrow in court. And I'm making my journey get the uh, the tapes, the audio, the audio, the tape, and also some invisible human being that I got a ticket for. Yeah, DUI. Really? What who? Oh, and I get the paperwork tomorrow. That's okay. I could use the money anyway from the settlement. She be you that's dead. Oh, come on, sweetie. You want me, huh? Come on. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Punta. You touch me easily. Okay. Yeah, that was in booking. Can you relax your arm, please? Relax. Yes, it's fine. No, I need it by your wrist. Is that what that means? No, I don't. How about Tyson? How about Holyfield? McGregor? Are you alluding to something? Yeah, I'm alluded. I would love to see that. Lynn faced serious charges, including obstructing an officer, driving under the influence, DUI, and assaulting a police officer. Toby, Lynn's dog was handed over to her husband and may have enjoyed a peaceful night among the quietest of his life. This incident serves as an important lesson not only about the consequences of drunk driving, but also about the risks associated with resisting law enforcement. Understanding and adhering to legal procedures is crucial to avoiding stressful and dangerous situations. For those struggling with controlling their anger and behavior, this is a serious reminder that respecting the law and law enforcement officers is crucial for protecting both oneself and the community. This y'all get to get sued by my dad. Good deal. Who's your dad again? On June 19th, 2024, police were dispatched to a park after receiving a report of a violent altercation involving a knife. The situation escalated quickly when officers located the female suspect, who fit the description provided by the caller. She was found with a bloody lip and stains on her clothes, raising questions about what really happened, what led to this confrontation, and what will the investigation uncover. The answers might surprise you as the story continues to unfold. Hey, how are you doing today? I'm getting harassed while I'm trying to talk to my dad. Literally just lost my phone. So, I'm not very happy with the harassment here, guys. Okay, well, we're not trying to harass him. We, just, we got a call of service. That's why we're here today. Yeah, well, that's at a park where you guys are supposed to be. Well, and there's probably somebody getting the. So you saw somebody life. getting beat up over there? Yeah, nigga. That's them. That's a couple. That's none of my business. Gotcha, gotcha. Who, who's them? You said it was a couple, though? Yeah, I walked past the park. Okay, what were they wearing? I don't know. Red shirt and. Okay, okay. I have a purple shirt on. My guys are wearing purple today, guys. Hello. Yeah. Really, all this over the situation you guys need to be helping is over there, dog. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, I said I just, I'm just here assisting my partner to give us a few minutes. I'm not sure why he's checking out with you I'm if you're not. I'm trying to just get my phone. So where's your phone at? I don't know. I lost it walking to my dad's. You lost it walking to your dad's? Yeah. Gotcha. Where I crossed the street and ran. Oh, okay, okay. No, she has. Probably fell out of my back pocket, like all the And I am feeling very f***ing harassed right now. Well, we're not harassing. I'm disappointed in y'all because I mean, there's. I know, I got gotcha. you. Got you, got you. Well, we'll go check it out right now. See if we can find whoever's there. Just give us a few I minutes. Because otherwise, my shit's gonna get stolen from y'all. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. Just give us a few minutes because it's not up to me. It's my partner's decision whether you're free to go or not. As the officers ran a check on the female suspect, 
they quickly uncovered a startling revelation. She was not only recognizable from previous encounters, but also had four active warrants out for her arrest. With this new information in hand, the situation took on a more serious tone, setting the stage for an unexpected twist in the unfolding legal drama. Okay, what the f going on here? What the f is this shit, bro? I'm sorry, do you guys have a warrant or officer that can detain me? Because according to law, you guys can't touch me. Well, let my partner talk. Hey, here's the situation. What's the situation? I'm still trying to figure out what was going on today. It's like I told you before. I told you, they got a couple fighting the one, they gave me your description. I okay, could tell by seeing signs on you that you were involved. If you I want to make a statement involved. about that, that you do come back with a warrant from municipal court, okay? No, I don't. Well, I got that taken care of and I got it squashed with the warrant. Sent that letter in, they uh, gave me a call, told me to show up in court, and that shit squashed. That my court date Thursday. Yeah, lower meaning does not exist because I squashed that with one letter. Yeah, I got all of it squashed with the Letter, bro. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Excuse me, none of you guys are female. What the hell? You don't have to be female to detain me. Stop. Yeah, you guys do. No. I got you. This is something that doesn't have Excuse to be. Excuse me. Excuse me. This is harassment. It's not harassment. You got a warrant. Stop. How do I have a warrant when I got it squashed with your? Well, I mean, that's the only warrant I have with. Well, then you get to talk to me again today. Wow. Oh. Oh, really? Tomorrow, the holiday. Well, I guess y'all get to get sued by my fucking dad. Good deal. Who's your dad again? He's a no, he's not the DA anymore. No, he's not the DA, but he doesn't have well. power over all of you guys. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. Good luck with that. When the female suspect began screaming and violently slamming herself against the police vehicle, the officers were left with no choice but to deploy the RAP, a restraining device designed to immobilize individuals who pose a risk to themselves or others. This tactical move ensured her safety while maintaining control of the situation, highlighting the officers' adherence to protocol in handling volatile encounters. The use of the RAP underscores the importance of law enforcement tools in preventing further escalation and injury during high-tension incidents. She need one? Is she banging her head? Did she Did she say she was involved? Or? Not until we put her in the car. Well, then why didn't she tell us that earlier? She denied earlier when I first made contact because she tried to walk away from me over there. Yeah. And then I got out of the car and so I kept walking, so I rolled up under over here and like, no, nah, I don't know what you're talking about. It was a part of nothing. I was there in the park. I was walking by the park and harassing me. Like, does she have 40? It's all done a PO resistance gets struck in. No shit, really. Imagine that. <laughs> I'm surprised. You need me to go get a wrap? We'll just ignore her. Uh, the only thing is search. Search? Well, she did have a knife. I mean, I don't want her stabbing herself or... So... Okay, yeah. Oh, y'all didn't shoot for that shit. Look at that shit, bro. He's like, 
Third degree burns on my legs and you dumbass code. Any good? Alright, every time I see you, dumbass. Just rip it off! Bro. Oh, you Watch! Watch! That's your suit! Jax is gonna suit! Okay. I ain't got nothing else on me, bro. Harass me like a What, you like them titties? Oh, oh no, I haven't since you guys burned my legs. Okay, well, you behave, and then we'll get you a hit at the jail. Come on, you the fuck. The female suspect, already facing four outstanding warrants, was first transported to the hospital for evaluation. After being cleared by medical staff, she was subsequently booked into jail. Her aggressive behavior resulted in additional charges of resisting arrest, battery, and assault on an officer. This incident underscores the serious legal repercussions of confrontational actions against law enforcement. What are your thoughts on how this situation unfolded? Do you think the added charges were warranted given her actions? Share your opinions in the comments below. At the end of the day, the lesson here is clear. Rules exist for a reason, especially when safety and respect are at stake. Whether you're at an airport, on a plane, or anywhere in society, pushing boundaries can lead to consequences you might not be ready for. The real power lies in knowing when to step back, when to cooperate, and when to respect authority. So, the next time you feel frustrated or wronged, remember, patience and respect are far more powerful than a confrontation. And that's a lesson we can all take to heart.